this morning. I heard some noise on the window. I'm like, what was that? It's a frog. Obviously, he crawled in through one of our open windows or something like that. But, uh, yeah, look at that guy. Look at him go. Show you how big he is. About as long as a finger. Pretty crazy looking. Buddy, you need to go outside. That's not a problem I've ever had before, having a frog inside my house and um, on my window on the inside. Um, definitely a Florida thing. Isn't that funny, Chance? Yep. I don't know where Chance is. He's over there somewhere. But yeah, big frog. Crazy. There it is, guys. Crap thing. So another car got him picked up. I this one. Our first flip car in Florida. Our first flip car in Florida. So this one is a 2000 Ford Mustang GT. Um, unknown running condition, no title. We're paying $400 for it, or we did. And yeah, it's a convertible, 4.6 liter V8 with a 4R70 automatic transmission, 8.8 .8 rear end, five lugs with some fake bullets on them. Probably American uh, muscle style wheels. So goodbye, I think. So here we go, guys. 2000 Mustang GT. Not too shabby. I think I see some pretty decent parts. The body's straight, actually. So if anyone wants a body, yeah, you want a body, let us know. Didn't Vince swap it. So, not sure what happened. Uh, we'll get it off the trailer, pop the hood. Chance got me off my train of thought. Vin swapping is illegal. We won't do that, but you can do that. However, you can frame swap it, body swap it, whatever you want to call it. So, we're not sure what happened to it, so we're gonna pull it off, see if we can get it to crank up, hook it up to some stuff, and uh, see what happens. But uh, yeah, if you need any parts, let us know. 2000 Ford Mustang GT automatic. There you go. Your chance is gonna send it. You didn't unhook that. You didn't unhook the winch. There's a dead frog. Oh, poor little guy. Send it! Perfect. Right where we're meant to go. Boom, perfect. Let's pop the hood and take a look. All right guys, so we got a BBK cold air intake. We have a red painted, it's really weird intake um, on it. And looks like some MSD coils. I don't know if they somehow painted those red too, but I'm betting they're probably the MSD ones. Yeah, not too bad. Let's, uh, we'll see if we can get it to start with a jump. So right now, guys, we're kind of going through stuff, um, taking pictures of it. Basically, Chance is trying to sell a lot of the junk he has. Now, this junk is pretty much golden junk. It's all worth a good amount of money. It's good parts. We just have hauled it all across the U.S. So it's time for Chance to sell it and make some money because, Chance, what do you want to buy? Currently looking at a 2010 Nissan GTR. So in order for him to come anywhere close to the realm of being able to purchase that said car, basically he has to sell everything he owns in life. So he's trying to. I own a lot. I have a lot of cars, a lot of garbage. It's not really garbage though, it's just junk. It's, it's good junk. junk. It's good junk. It's rusty gold. It is. It really is. Rusty gold, good stuff. On that note, I'm going to put the RX-7 up for sale, guys. Reason being, it's a Turbo FC. It's a really clean car. Now, in my opinion, the rotary is a really cool engine. I mean, it's a good-looking car. Look at it out there. It's a, it's a great-looking car. You know, it's, it's a good import. But uh, I think for what I want to do, I don't want this car. Um, 
some couple things that I want to do first is I want to coyote swap my blue car and sell it and keep working on the drag car. This is literally just a fun car to drive around. It's not fast enough for me to race at the drag strip. It's not even really fast enough to street race because it was fast back in its day. But now everything basically runs like a 12 second pass. It's not even fair to a car like this. I mean, it's great, right? Look at it. It's got good lines. It's got awesome red paint and the colors. It's turbocharged. It's a rotary. It's freaking cool. The problem comes when you want to actually do something with it against a car that someone bought in the last 10 years. Anything after the 2000s basically smokes this. Now that's not 100% true, 2000 Mustangs won't get it, even a 2010 maybe if it's stock, but anything, you know, nowadays a Camaro, the Mustangs, they are so far ahead, even if they're dead stock, it's not even funny. The V6 Mustangs and the EcoBoost Mustangs are faster than this thing is. So. I don't really feel like spending the amount of money I have to spend on this rotary to get it to, you know, five, six hundred horsepower to where it's competitive. Um, and then everything else starts breaking. I don't really feel like putting the money into this car. So the RX-7 is going to go up for sale. Today she's just going to get a bath and we're going to clean her up nice and good so that I can list her. Well, the cars are washed. I washed the RX-7. Chance washed his Celica. So we got that car here so it's been a pretty good day so far what do you think chance I photographed a lot of car parts chance photographed a whole lot of car parts so he's hoping he can sell them and start saving up for that uh that big nissan he wants to buy the little datsun my dad my datsun your datsun so uh hopefully he can get them sold and they'll be pretty cool but um yeah it's just been a kind of a nice nice day What's up guys? So today, we're tearing apart the 2000 Mustang GT convertible that we picked up. Uh, right now, we got the seats out, we took the hood off, and we're working on the BBK air intake. Uh, and then the front fenders. So, keep doing it. Alright guys, so, getting pretty far along, tearing her apart, whole front ends out. Uh, we just pulled the carpet. Seats. Take the trunk off, all the rear carpets out. She's getting there. All right, guys, so it's hot out here, it's really sunny. I don't want to burn my freshly shaved head. So, I already did. Getting this pulled apart a little more. See, now there's some really funny stuff going on with it. See the speaker wire? That was running. Here's the best part. See these? This is like a neon or basically an LED underglow type deal this dude was running. Let's we'll see if we can make it work. But uh, yeah, so Chance is pulling off the other side so we can get this fender off. And we're going to have this baby pretty stripped down here pretty soon. Get all the front bumper and everything's already off. Over here, hood's off, seats are out. Got people coming to buy some stuff from it so we can get back some of the money we spent, which is awesome. Because all we really wanted was the front spindles, knuckles, everything like that, and the rear end out of it and the wheels and tires. Everything else is kind of garbage to us, so up for sale it goes. <laughs> 